In recent years, rabbits have become the unfortunate animal of choice for designers like Giorgio Armani, who sell rabbit fur merely for the whim of human vanity. Every year in France alone, 70 million rabbits are slaughtered for their fur on fur farms such as this one. During slaughter, rabbits are shocked with an electrical device and hung upside down in metal shackles to have their throats slit. Stunning is supposed to render the animals unconscious before they are killed. But as you can see, these rabbits continue to move after their throats have been slit, a sure sign that they have been improperly stunned and can feel what is happening to them. Conditions in China, where most rabbit fur comes from, are just as cruel. Here, in this fur farm in the Shandong region, as many as 2,000 rabbits are killed every day. Baby rabbits are taken from their mothers and kept alone in tiny boxes. When it's time for slaughter, they are crammed into wire crates. Carelessly dragged and tossed by workers, baby rabbits are crushed against the sides of the crates and suffer painful injuries when their legs slip through the wire. During slaughter, workers often have poor aim and must shock the rabbits multiple times. Still conscious and with their eyes wide open, the rabbits' throats are cut and their heads and paws cut off with knives. Their skin is then peeled off their bodies like a sweater. It takes 30 to 40 of these skins to make just one coat. In China, there are no laws protecting animals. It is here that Giorgio Armani buys skins for his designs. The fact is, there are many humane alternatives to using fur, and rabbit fur is by far the easiest to replicate because of its short pile. Please help stop this unnecessary slaughter by helping PETA pressure the designers who still use real fur. Let's stop making animals the ultimate fashion victims. For more information, visit PETA dot org